The situation in Pakistan feels and seems rather febrile at the moment. Yes, that's correct. Um, uh, great to be on your show. Thank you for having me. We spoke just a couple of days ago. I was uh, speaking to one of your colleagues on LBC when the situation when he had been arrested, mm. Imran Khan, um, and now just within uh, three days, um, it was, uh, you know, it's it's a, a, a complete sort of uh, turn in the situation because it, it had become very dark on the 9th of May when he was arrested. It led to countrywide protests and lots of violence. And as you just uh, noted, um, deaths and uh, arrests but um in it's i think what what today's decision of the islamabad high court has has shown people in pakistan and perhaps internationally as well that there is some uh, there that there is some law remaining in pakistan some rule of law which a lot of people had lost hope in pakistan that uh, it seemed like there were these forces that were just controlling uh you know th th this arrest and it was all being done to avoid elections um, and uh, I've been in Pakistan for almost a year and I'm currently in the US, but I was there just last week um, and I had been there for a year and I've been very active uh, with with the party, with Imran Khan's party. And what I've witnessed myself is that uh, this this whole, you know, this uh, barrage of arrests and there are over 100 cases against Imran Khan. They're all, in my view, politically motivated um, in, in order to prevent elections. Um, and it's it's a constant I mean, it's. Uh, I've grown up in the UK. I've grown up in England myself. So seeing, seeing how the politics is just so uh, motivated by egos and, and and this and this battle not to let the other side win, um, it's been quite eye opening for, for myself. Um, but today's decision has been a very positive one. Um, people have. I think there will be some sense of normalcy now. There will be some some return to normality um, after this because people are celebrating. PTI is celebrating. Uh, but the situation is still volatile. It's not. I wouldn't say we've, uh, you know, we've achieved what um, what Imran Khan is trying to do at the moment. So now, for people who don't follow Pakistani politics, why does is Khan such a controversial figure for some, and why has his political career become such a centre of, well, discontent from the ruling government? Uh, it's because I would say since so since his government was ousted out of power last year um he has he has uh, dissolved two assemblies two provincial assemblies the punjab assembly and the kp uh, k assembly and what what he's trying to do is call for early elections um he believes imran khan believes and he's mobilized a lot of the youth um uh, is that that he him being taken out of power was was uh, was being controlled by you know the, the current government pdm and with with other forces as well um, but Imran Khan is trying to just uh, bring back rule of law. He's trying to bring back early elections. Um, and I think the, the reason why people like Imran Khan, uh, you know, let's go back to the basics, is because I think he's very transparent. He's honest and he doesn't, uh, he's not corrupt. That's what a lot of the youth believe. Although the, the current government, the PDM, you know, which is a coalition of PPP and PMLN uh, are trying to uh, prove him as uh, as a criminal and putting cases against him. But essentially, Imran Khan is, is just very transparent. He's very popular. Um, he, you know, he's honest and he, and he speaks his mind. Um, but there have been attempts to, uh, you know, to, to block his freedom of speech, etc. in the last few months. Uh, all he's asking for is early elections so that the people can decide um, once again who should who, who should be in the Punjab uh, government. And the Punjab government in Pakistan holds significant value. If if you win the Punjab provincial as assembly elections, uh, it's almost like you've you've sort of, I think it, because it's the the largest province, it seems you will be you will have a lot of that power. So. Um, but there is uh, there is so much resistance from the PDM government to avoid elections at any cost. Um, so elections should have been held within 90 days of mm. the uh, assemblies being dissolved, um, but they were not. Yeah. And 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 uh, briefly, Sundas, what what happens now, and how dangerous uh, a moment potentially is this? Is this for Pakistani politics mm -hmm. and for the stability of Pakistan? Um, so I, it's it's uh, I think that you know the country is uh, is on the brink of uh, being, of being default and uh, and uh, at the moment uh, you know since uh, Imran Khan was arrested of course there's been protests violence killings arrests uh, but today's decision like I was saying I think it will give people some sense of hope. Mm. Um, Supreme Court of Pakistan has has uh, had deemed that the arrest was illegal, and they've allowed him to be uh, released. Um, they've given him bail. 
but he's still actually uh, in the Islamabad High Court <laughs> and hasn't been able to exit. So it's been a few hours and there have been some police uh, shootings as well. Um, so it's it's still volatile. Anything could happen. It's Pakistan. It's very unpredictable. Um, and the internet has been blocked for three, four days. So there's a censorship. And, you know, this has an impact on the economy. So people who are, who are for example, taxi drivers, they don't mm. have internet now. How can they drive Uber? Mm. Uh, so a lot of businesses are being affected. Um, and uh, this, this, this could, this could be, yeah, I think this could sink the economy even further, like it has already um, in the last few months. We've seen a huge increase in uh, petrol prices, electricity prices. Uh, but I think this could also be positive in the long run. After all of this uh, sort of struggle, we could, if we, if we, if we manage to have elections this year, I think that will be a huge success. Uh, because then people will be able to decide who they want in power.